and welcome to our lesson on combined events. In this lesson, we're going to use sample space diagrams to calculate the probability of two or more events happening. So a sample space diagram is a two-way table where we can organize the outcomes on the odd spinner with the outcomes on the even spinner. And we're going to look at the results of the two numbers added together. So you can get a one on the odd, and a 2 on the even, which is a 3, a 3 on an odd, a 2 on an even, which is a 5, and then 5 add 2 is 7, 4 add 1 is 5, 3 and a 4 is 7, 5 and a 4 is 9, 1 and a 6 is 7, 3 and a 6 is 9, and a 5 and a 6 is 11. So we can use these results to find the probability of getting the number 10. Well, you can see all our numbers are odd, so that is no chances out of nine in total, and that is zero. The probability of getting an odd number, well, like I just said, there are nine outcomes which are odd out of nine outcomes in total, so that is certain. The probability of a square number, well, these are the square numbers, one times one, two times two, three times three, and four times four which is 16. We have the number nine, which is here and here. We don't have any more square numbers. So they are two desired events out of nine in total, two nines. And the multiples of three, well, we have three, six, nine, 12. We have one three, two nines, so that is three chances out of nine in total. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by three, and that will make one third. Okay, let's try the next question. So now we have two dice which are thrown and their numbers are multiplied together. Do you want to pause the video to try and complete the sample space diagram? And you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so the product of dice 1 and dice 2, well, if you have a 1 and a 1, that product would be 1. 1 and a 2 is 2. And you can see we can simply fill out the top row. And then product of 1 and 2 is 2. So we have the two times tables because we're multiplying everything on times 1 by 2. And then we have the three times tables because we're multiplying everything by three. The four times tables. The five times tables. And then the six times tables. So now we have our sample space diagram completed. Do you want to try and work out the probability of getting a six? And then for question B, the probability of getting an even number. Okay, so the probability of getting a 6, well, you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4 sixes out of the 36 events, which is the 6 by the 6, which makes 36 events. You can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 4. So we have one ninth. The probability of an even number, well if it's multiplied by a multiple of two, which are two, four and six, then it would be even. So we have six outcomes here, six outcomes here and six here, plus these multiples of two as well. So in total we have six, twelve, eighteen, plus the three is 21, plus the other three which is 24, plus the other three which is 27. So 27 outcomes out of 36, and this will simplify to make three quarters. Do you want to try and work out the probability of choosing a number greater than 10, and the probability of choosing a one? The probability of choosing a number greater than 10, we have a 12, 15 and a 12, and finally the 12 which is 2 times 6. So we have 
five outcomes here, four here, four here, three and one. So in total we have four, eight, 12, 17 outcomes out of 36. And the probability of choosing the number one, which is one outcome out of 36. And you want to try and find the probability of choosing a prime number by pausing the video and you can resume that when you're ready. Question A, the probability of a prime number. Well, here are all the prime numbers. And you can see we have two, a three, a five, a two, a three, and another five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six outcomes out of 36 in total. And this will simplify to make one, six. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.